It's Learn TV. Hello mga katropa! Ayos ba tayo dyan? Ako, ayos lang ako dito sa San Diego, California. Uh, welcome to my new video and welcome to my channel, Learn TV. Ito, piniprepare ko lang itong, uh, itong uh, to balikbayan box uh, na ipapadala ko sa Pilipinas. This is for charity. Uh, papadala ko dun sa mga IPs sa Pilipinas. Bago ang lahat, ay gusto ko po sanang magpasalamat dito sa aking bayaw, si Lawrence, na... Pinadalhan ako dito ng t-shirt na galing sa Vegan City. Thank you, bro! Ang plano ko sana para sa video na to, eh, ipagpatuloy ang upgrade sa DAW na naka-install dito sa workstation ko. Pero there's this thought in my mind that's been keeping me sleepless lately. At ito ay tungkol doon sa pasay sa Book of First Enoch na pinapakita ang uh, tungkol sa Biblical Calendar. Ayon kay Enoch, ang araw o day ay divided into 18 parts. Sa ating panahon ngayon, ang araw ay may 24 parts o tinatawag nating hours. So, dahil hindi, ko makat hindi ako makatulog, Eh, ito na lang ang gagawin nating topic ngayon, ang tungkol sa Biblical Hour. So, umpisahan na natin. One Enoch 72 verse On that day, the day is longer than the night by a ninth part, and the day amounts exactly to ten parts, and the night by eight parts. Okay, so ito pong verse na to ay patungkol sa last day of the first month in the Enoch calendar. According the, uh, to this uh, uh, verse, Ang huling araw daw nung uh, last day of the first month, ang araw o daytime ay magiging 10 parts at ang gabi o dilim ay magiging 8 parts. Indication lang na ang buong araw ay equal to 18 parts, ba? Diba? Sa panahon natin ngayon, Ang araw o day is divided into 24 hours. It's the same as saying it's divided into 24 parts. Please But we don't like call it parts, subscribe. we call it an hour. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make the assumption or I'm gonna label the word part, I'm gonna relabel it into biblical hour. So yun ang ating tutukuyin yung biblical hour which is a part. So, I guess it's uh, safe to assume that uh, the biblical day which is equal to 18 hours, biblical hours, is equal to our present day which is 24 hours long. It's the same, it's just divided into different Uh, methods. So, let's rewrite what we know so far and uh, deal with the numbers. Uh, 18 
is to 24 is the ratio that I get. And if you uh, bring it down, it'll be 3 is to 4. Meaning, 3 biblical hours is the same and as long as 4 hours in our present time. So, we can say that one biblical hour equals 1.33 hours or one hour and 20 minutes long for a total of 80 minutes per biblical hour. Mas mahaba po ang biblical hour kaysa sa regular hours na ginagamit natin ngayon. Okay, so dito naman, gumawa ako ng table para i-compare kung uh, ano ang ano ano yung sukat nung araw in biblical time at saka regular time. Yung table sa gitna parang scale siya na doon kino-compare niya yung haba ng uh, uh, oras. Ito po yung scale ng regular time or 24 hours a day at uh, yung corresponding scale niya sa ilalim na nagre-relate doon sa biblical hour scale. Uh, dito po naman, ay uh, pinapakita sa ilalim itong uh, biblical time scale which is 18 parts per day or 18 biblical hours per day. At uh, doon naman sa taas niya ay makikita ninyo yung scale uh, na compare sa regular time. Uh, dito po sa tatlong tables na to, Uh, ina-assume ko na ang araw ay nag-uumpisa sa umaga. Sa biblical time scale, ang umpisa ng araw o sunrise ay ang zero hour. In our present time, ang araw o sunrise ay nag-uumpisa around 7 o'clock a.m. So, basically, ang tables na ito ay nagre-represent ng araw kung saan ang daytime at ang nighttime ay magka-singhaba. Ito po yung spring equinox. Here, we have the uh, middle table which is actually a scale uh, comparing biblical time below to regular time above so that uh, if you see, if you look at this scale zero hour in the biblical uh, day or biblical hour is 7 a.m. Uh, in the morning uh, in regular time so that 11 o'clock a.m. in regular time is only in the third hour or hour 3 of the uh, biblical uh, scale. Okay, so nandito na po tayo sa final stretch at uh, ang ipinapakita ko ngayon dito sa inyo ay yung spreadsheet na ginawa ko at dito ay uh, kaya nating i-convert yung uh, regular hour into biblical hour Uh, using uh, the variables that we already know. So, uh, I'm gonna share the formula with you uh, later on uh, if you want to. Pero basically, uh, what I've done is this, I've been able to convert uh, regular time to biblical time. Okay, so that, uh, as you can see here, I inputted 7 for 7 a.m. okay in the morning and it gave me an answer of 18 zero or 18 hours zero minutes that in biblical time 18 hours is the same as zero hour okay so yeah that's what that means 
so that uh, if you input, let's input 8 o'clock a.m., right? And uh, it will show me a biblical time of 0 hour and 60 minutes. <laughs> Kita nyo ba yun? Kasi ang uh, regular hour is shorter than a biblical hour. Okay, ang ang regular hour is only 80 uh, a regular hour is only 60 minutes. That's why yun ang sagot dito sa sa aking spreadsheet. Let's see about uh, 12 a.m. lunch time. So, it turns out lunch time <clears throat> is at hour 3 and 60 minutes. Okay, 3.60. And that is the biblical time. Okay, so uh, wh what's the importance? It's not really that important other than I'm just trying to explain uh, the kind of thinking that they had in those days, you know, in ancient times. Uh, for example, um, uh, Ewan ko kung tama to, so correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, ayon sa scriptures, uh, the Messiah died on the seventh hour of uh, the fifteenth day of uh, of the first month, which is uh, the second day of uh, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And so, if we say, if they said seventh hour, okay. What is it in um, in uh, regular time? Now I don't have that formula yet, but we can plug in some uh, some numbers here. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, other uh, sheet that I have. Uh, let's open that file. Open. Recent right here, okay. Now, okay, so if they say that the Messiah died on the seventh hour, right? If you look at this uh, table here, uh, if you look, if you use regular time, the seventh hour would be uh, from morning, uh, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Around uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That would be the time of uh, the Messiah. But if you look at uh, biblical time and you say the seventh hour, okay, the seventh hour is around uh, 1620 regular time. 16.20 regular time. That's uh, 4 4.20 in the afternoon. So, alin kaya ang tama? Yung 2 o'clock na sinasabi nila? O yung 4.20 na nakikita ko dito sa scales ko? Big question! And so, my quest for God's truth continues. It seems that ancient knowledge can be quite an eye-opener. Even such a simple time scale can reveal some truths, no matter how trivial. Nevertheless, I find it important to note so that we can get a better understanding, a better idea of just how the ancients since the time of Enoch and before the Great Flood kept the daily time compared to our present time scale. Meron ba kayong mga tanong? Kung meron kayong mga tanong, i-write down lang ninyo sa comment section nitong video na to and I will try to answer them the best I could. So, dito na lang muna mga katropa and I'll see you on the next video. So ano pa ang hinihintay nyo? Click on the like button mga katropa!
at mag-subscribe na rin kayo para masuportahan ang aking channel. And lastly, don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you!